I, I wrote several uh, books before PH Miracle. I wrote the One Sickness, One Disease, One Treatment because I had this etiology that I thought about for years and then I started testing uh, this theory that there's only one sickness and one disease and that's the over acidification of the blood and tissues due to an inverted way of living, eating, and thinking. I thought, oh wow, it's our lifestyle and diet that in fact that literally impacts how we're feeling. Whether we suffer a condition, it, it's not something that you get. You don't get cancer, you don't get diabetes, you have to do it with lifestyle choice. It's, it's a matter of choice. And so if you choose to be healthy, there's only one health. We don't talk about many healths, but in the medical community, we, we talk about many diseases. But there's not many diseases. There's only one disease. And that disease is all expressed in how we maintain the alkaline design of the human body. So after 30 years of research, after the university, 30 years of researching this, I found two very important things. The first thing that I found was that the human body is alkaline in its design. Everywhere in the body it needs to be alkaline. And I don't know if, if you understand what alkalinity means, but scientifically there's a scale that goes from 0 to 14, 7 is the midpoint, anything above 7 is alkaline, anything below 7 is acidic. Well our body fluids are alkaline at 7.365 to 7.4. The ocean is alkaline at 8.3 to 8.4. You see, health resides in a healthy alkaline state. That was my first premise. My second premise was this, that all functions of the human body, breathing, eating, moving our bodies, the heart beating, metabolism, all produced waste products, acids, that if not properly eliminated through the four channels of eliminations, which are what? defecation, urination, perspiration, and respiration. If we don't eliminate these toxins, then guess where they go? They go out into the connective tissues. They go out into the fatty tissues. Well, if it goes out into the fatty tissues of a woman, that's called breast cancer. If acids aren't removed out of these tissues, they can set up the condition we call disease. But it's only caused by one thing, and that one thing is the overacidification of the blood, then tissues, because the blood has to maintain its delicate pH balance at 7.365. Any acid, if not eliminated, is pushed out into the connective tissues and the fatty tissues. It's the reason why people get fat. It's not because they're overweight, it's because they're over acid. You see, and losing weight can be very problematic. If you're trying to lose weight and not change your diet, then that could be, be very dangerous. You could actually damage your organs. But if you're losing the weight by reducing the acid loads to your system by what you eat and what you drink and how you live your life, then of course losing weight is a healthy thing. The PH Miracle book that uh, my wife and I wrote, like we wrote it over 10 years ago, and it was just republished just last year. So it's been revised and updated because we've been learning a lot of things along the way. But when we came up with the name the PH Miracle, PH standing for perfectly healthy, Okay, actually scientifically it stands for the potential of hydrogen, but you know, what is that? Uh, most of us aren't scientists, and so I like, you know, somebody says, well, what does pH stand for? Well, it stands for being perfectly healthy. But the pH deals with that scale, 0 to 14, 7 being neutral, and realizing that our bodies are base, they're alkaline by design, at 7.365 to 7.4. Uh, like the ocean waters are also alkaline. Uh, so that was important, that part of the book really talks about the biochemical nature that we are. We are a body of water. When we're born, we're 90% water. When we're dead, we're about 50 to 60% water. Most of us live dehydrated at 70% water. We're just not drinking enough, which is why we need to get more concentrated fluids into our body, particularly juices. But the miracle is this. And combining those two words together, pH miracle, it's a natural phenomenon between the cause and effect relationship. You see, today in medicine, we treat effects and we don't understand the cause. What is the cause of cancer? What is the cause of diabetes? What is the cause of acne? What is the cause of GERD or acid reflux? We don't, we don't understand the cause but we end up treating the effects as if we do understand the cause and a lot of the treatments that are being, being uh, postulated are actually harmful to the body, some more so than others. 
So understanding the cause, this cause and effect relationship, is what the pH miracle is about. It literally gives you the understanding of what causes all sickness and disease. And then with that, once we understand the cause, we can then develop uh, a protocol that can help prevent disease. Because I believe the cure for cancer, diabetes, and all other symptomologies is not in its treatment, but is in its prevention. It's not more medication, it's more education. We need to empower ourselves with the knowledge of how do I take care of this body? You see, our bodies are made from blood. Our bones are made from blood. Our skin is made from blood. Our liver is made from blood. And our heart and our lungs and our liver and our bones and our muscles are only as healthy as our blood. And our blood is only as healthy as what we're eating and what we're drinking and what we're thinking. There is a, a simple analogy. And it, it starts out with a question. And the question is this. If you had a fishbowl and you had a goldfish and that goldfish was sick, what would you do? Would you treat the fish or would you change the water? Now think about that question. The, the obvious or common sense, an, common sense answer is, oh, well, I would change the water. And in, in thinking a little bit further, you would change the water because the fish is only as healthy as the water it swims in. So the fish is a metaphor for our, the human cell. The human cell is only as healthy as the water it's bathed in, and that, al and, and that bath is a bath of alkalinity. And when that, that fluid is compromised by an overacidic lifestyle and diet, then cells begin to break down prematurely. This is what causes aging. So this whole analogy that you're only as healthy as the water you're bathed in, when you realize that you're, when you were born you're 90% water, uh, that to maintain hydration is critical, but it has to be an alkaline state. And juicing becomes a very critical point in helping to maintain that alkalinity in order to maintain the health of the human cell. Because the human cell is only as healthy as the alkaline fluids it's bathed in. Just like the fish is only as healthy as the alkaline fluids it's bathed in.